Our monarch butterfly experience started from just a few seed pods my mom collected from a milkweed plant where she lives. Before we knew it, and before our plants had even had a chance to develop, monarchs were coming to lay their eggs. Erin saved the day by bringing us a larger plant that could support the larva and the caterpillars grew and grew and grew. It seemed that our little plants were devoured in front of our eyes. One day they'd be there, the next day they were gone. Little poops left in their place and the caterpillars had gotten quite large and beautiful. We were able to keep them going because of Aaron's contribution and many trips to the nursery. Our first chrysalis had an accident and fell, but the second one was attached to a lattice and it was able to develop and eventually become translucent. The first one, unfortunately, didn't end up well because the butterfly had some damage to its wing and was never able to completely unfurl it. It was amazing how that big butterfly could come out of that tiny little chrysalis and it worked really hard to try to get out. I wish I would have seen it sooner because I think maybe I could have helped but by the time I got there and was able to hold the string uh, it, it was too late. The wing just was deformed. They should be hanging upside down and I had done my best to hang the pupa, the chrysalis rather, after I found it in the dirt, but it just was amateur and I should have left things up to Mother Nature. I'm including the video because I didn't get to see the other butterfly emerge. It seemed like things were always happening when the camera wasn't around or when we weren't home. But it still was a fascinating experience. and. Eventually, the butterfly did get out of there, and he did go and sit on a plant and enjoy the nectar. So I guess it wasn't all bad. The next day, though, we were not home very much, and we came home and saw another butterfly perfectly formed. It had emerged from the second chrysalis on the lattice work. And the chrysalis, of course, was sitting there empty. But the butterfly was doing well, and it, hang, it was hanging on to the lattice for hours, uh, virtually the whole day, trying to dry out its wings and stretch its wings and just get a sense of itself. It happened to be a really windy day, so it wasn't the greatest situation, because if you would have tried to take off, you would have been blown, blown away. It was one of those gale force wind kind of days. But he stayed overnight and although I can't show you on film, because again, no camera, we, both Steve and I were there when he finally figured it out and got his wings moving and was able to take a short flight down the driveway. He did stop again and rested in one of the plants and seemed to just be enjoying the sunshine. And we enjoyed him for quite a while, but we had to leave, and when we came home, he was gone. It was a great experience, and we're back now to where the flowers have bloomed. We're going to have more seed pods, and hopefully more plants for next year's butterflies.